for me, just the same thing. I just want to get over with and see what's going to happen. I mean, you just go over that day and start over here or whatever. That I'm. No focus on that. I just see the jersey you're wearing on. I mean, you're wearing the Nationals jersey, you're here. And right now I'm here and I'm a national. So I just go out there as a professional, as a national, and I just play for them as, as hard as I can. It don't matter whatever they say and whatever the rumors, stuff like that. I'm going to give my 100% every time I'm wearing this jersey. Juan Soto trying to quiet the noise and who can blame him? He's over it. We're all over it. We are all Juan Soto right now trying to figure out does he stay? Does he go? Is he a national? Is he not? Juan Soto certainly the talk of all of the trade deadline talk when it comes to whether or not he's going to stay with the Washington Nationals. It was reported that he was going to be given a final offer by the Nats. If he does not accept, he will be traded prior to tomorrow's deadline at 6 p.m. Eastern. The Padres and Cardinals considered favorites for Soto with the Dodgers also a possibility. Soto has a slash line of 315, 495, 616 with six home runs and 17 runs scored in 24 games in July. Will he stay? Will he go? We don't know, but we are waiting to see what happens to him. And apparently so is he. Quiet the noise, Juan Soto. All right, Reed Detmers. Remember when the Angels had a no hitter earlier this year? Remember when we thought that the Angels could be in the postseason in 2022? Not so much but Reed Detmers became just the third pitcher to throw a no hitter and have an immaculate inning in the same season. He joined Sandy Koufax and Mike Fires as the only pitchers to do it. Detmer set a career high with 12 strikeouts in his seven innings last night. He got a no, no decision and no decision rather in the Angels five to two loss. But he also threw a no, no earlier in the year, which is the point of this story. So you can see the list that he is on. Sandy Koufax doing it in 62, 63 and 64. Mike Fires did it, doing it most recently in 2015. Reed Detmers, of course, last night. And how about the Major League Baseball debut for James Outman of the Los Angeles Dodgers, a 25 year old outfielder. He went three for four in his debut yesterday. He homered in his first Major League Baseball plate appearance, a 405 foot shot off of Herman Marquez. He then added the double and a single, so he was a triple short of the cycle. He became the first player in franchise history to have three hits, a home run, three ribbies, and two runs in a debut. Very cool for him. His family was in the stands. His fiance was trying to take a video of the whole thing, and it was an absolute mess. It looked like the Blair Witch Project, but it was absolutely joyful and so happy for James Outman and uh, his family uh, celebrating his major league debut.